sort of wish I had a mic right here in front of this piano because um, I would just love to kind of join in with Ms. Mitchell with that worship because after this is all said and done, you know, um, if we can get another cordless mic, OJ, do we have another one? If not, we can just use that one. Is that okay? All right, awesome. Um, Testing what's good. Okay. The deal is, I know how blessed we really are. You know, when you look around at what's happening in the world today, it's easy to take for granted the breath that we breathe. That's real easy. Um, but, and a lot of times I feel that for moments like this, um, even though we're all here, you know, in heavy support from Ms. Mitchell, I believe the overall goal is she wants somebody to leave with their life change. She wants to um, prick your hearts. And um, the songs that she chose was very um, unique and um, intentional. Amen. So um, it all, it's all head somewhere. Um, so God is great. And, um, I just thank him for who he is. I thank him for the breath that we breathe every day. Can we bring up the house lights a little bit? Okay. Okay. So, um, we're going to get a chance to know Miss Mitchell a little bit on a, a more artist kind of personal level. Um, so, I would give y'all some questions and say, hey, do anybody have any questions for Miss Mitchell? Well, we don't it's not on the program. <laughs> Can we raise up the house lights, please, Jennifer? Okay, awesome. So we kind of see everybody's face. Awesome. Okay, so one of the first questions that we're going to ask, are y'all interested in this? Yes. yes. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, good. So one of the first questions that we're going to ask, how are you doing, Miss Mitchell? I'm better now. I was a little nervous. I'll tell y'all, I was a little nervous, but I'm better now. Okay, awesome. Can y'all hear us really good? Yeah. Awesome, beautiful. All right, so um, one of the first questions I want to ask you, Ms. Mitchell, is who are you as an artist? Yes, ma'am. Who are you as an artist? Let me see these questions. <laughs> I got the wrong list. Yeah, you got the wrong list. <laughs> Should I have a different list, Ms. Mitchell? Yes, you should. Okay. Explain to these people who you are, or who do you, um, how do you want them to see you as an artist? Okay. You need to get this while I'm talking. You need to get right to this while I'm talking. <laughs> um, as an artist, I, I really want to just be um, a vessel. I want what God has given me to be evident to the, pe to the people that I've seen. In, in their presence. I want them to know that, that God is, is in control, that God has a purpose, has a plan, that God has his eye on all of us. So I want that to be what comes from my sin. It's not about me, it's about God and what he wants done through what he's given me. Amen. Okay, awesome, awesome. All right, so I might have to send this phone over to you and just let me let you ask me, ask me which questions you want me to ask. But, <laughs> so I don't get in trouble. All right. You're but, Okay, so the next question that we're going to ask, because we're kind of putting you on the spot a little bit, so we can pull some of those questions from your heart. All right, go ahead. All right. All right, so the next question that I would ask you is, what are five objectives that describes you as an artist? Five things that would describe you as an artist. Five things. So when people look at you, Ms. Mitchell, what do you want them to see? What do you want them to take from your image, from your songs, from your writing, all those things? I want, one of the things to be is that I am genuinely sincere. I know that I love God and I want him to be pleased with what I do. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just out here trying to do what I believe. One of the things that I'm put here on the planet to do, I wanted to do this before I left the planet because I believe that if I left here without doing it, I would be doing God a disservice. Amen. Oh, awesome. Awesome. How many of you are, you know, asking yourself, hey, God, have I fulfilled my purpose? You know, what it is that you want for my life? You know, so I think that's pretty awesome. Ms. Mitchell, I think that was a dope answer. All right, so question number three would be, 
Why did you choose to start now? Um, I didn't choose to start now. I wanted to start earlier, but different different things came up. I tried and things didn't work out, so I placed everything on pause, trying it. I mean, several start, starts and stops, and then finally we got here, and you believed me enough <laughs> to take on this project with me. And so it's taken us about, what, a year or so now? Almost a year to get here. So I didn't choose to start now. I chose to persevere with my dream. Amen. Amen. Y'all can clap your hands. You like it. Good work. Okay. Also, what would be my next question to you was, what was your driving force? What pushed you to do this? I love singing. I love just, just honoring God with what he's given me. I love doing that. And I would do that like every day if I could, but I can't because I have other obligations. But my driving force is just to use this thing that is within me and do it to God's glory and just let him be pleased with what I do. Awesome, Man. awesome, awesome. Man. awesome. Man. Beautiful. I've got a couple more questions, guys. Okay, so my next question to you would be, um, what do you want people to grasp from your doing this project? What, what it is in you that just has not let you go, that you thought about doing, and you tried doing it, and you thought that it would never come to pass, try it again and trust God. Man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, so um, my next question. That's a good question. I think I had a hand in getting some of these questions. <laughs> but the next question would be, what do you say to those people who have yet to discover their gift or their purpose? You came here with one. It may not be evident yet, but be careful. I didn't know what mine was for a long time. And then even when I discovered it, I wasn't even sure it was my purpose. It took me years to discover that this thing that you love doing is not just for you. It's for other people. It's to bless the people of God. So if you haven't discovered it yet, be prayerful and that God will answer that for you because he sent you here for a purpose. So whatever that purpose is, seek him about that and be about the business of doing it. All right, so this last and final question, um, which is this going to be kind of the question of the night, because I believe that it's going to take us to our next song. All right, so this question is really, really, um, uh, it's a lot, it's weighty, it's a lot of weight on this question. So, um, so um, this song that you're getting ready to sing, this song that you wrote, um, what does this song mean to you? And what is it that you want people to pull from this song? What do you want people to leave with, with the message of this song? This song is about my journey. My journey to have this night, to have this dream of mine come to a reality. And lots of things happen. Things that just kind of knock me back and made me say, well, I, I guess it's not going to happen. But then I had to try again. And something you don't know is yesterday I was in hospital admitted to the hospital. They had to run some tests, and it wasn't what they thought it was, thank God. But I'm here today. I did not want to miss this opportunity. I was like, mm-mm. I, I told the doctors yesterday, I said, I don't want to go to the hospital. I got a lot to do tomorrow. I don't really have time for that. But I had to go. I had to use wisdom and go. But I'm here tonight. And it's just that perseverance and trust in God, you know, because I could have, I could have let this go and never got here. You know what I'm saying? Never got here. So all of us have been on a journey. Yeah. We've all been on a journey. We have different things that we want to see along the way of our journey. Yeah. So if you haven't gotten to what you believe that you're here for, what you want to see. Don't stop. Keep going. And bless God with what he's blessed you with. Amen. Amen. That's it. That's it. Awesome. Okay, so, um, we're getting ready to um, come up on our final um, final part of this concert. A few more things.
going to happen. They're going to come get you. There are a few more things that's going to happen. Um, but, wow, uh, what answers? I think those are the amazing answers, Ms. Mitchell. Yep. So, um, let's make some more noise for Ms. Mitchell as we go. <laughs>
big dudes in this music are not to do. Special thank you to Jennifer over here in the corner working so hard. She has worked tirelessly to get everything done, to keep everything on track. She has been in my corner giving me pep talks and said, You know, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. She's been in my corner the whole time. So thank you, Jennifer, for just kind of staying on task and getting everything done. She's still working. So thank you for that. Um, to Kendrick, this guy, talented, talented guy. He's my producer, and he has, <laughs> he has worked with me for uh, probably about a year now, so he has also encouraged me, and he has pushed me to no end, which I appreciate. He, he did push me, so I just thank you for believing in me and taking on this project and working with, the, working with me for all this time. I just thank everybody, because this night would not have happened without all of you guys. And I thank you all for being a part of making my dream come true. Thank you all. Okay.